Hello YouTube, welcome in and welcome back. It is now episode five of our Kingdom Hearts Union Cross blind watch through. Uh, I am Mr. Miles in the last episode. Uh, well, quite a bit happened. Uh, still some some intrigue centered around Strelitzia and what happened to her. Uh, finding out why she was trying to get uh, the player basically to join the Dandelions. Uh, she seems to be play a really important part in this story uh, for multiple different reasons uh, because of some of the members of the new uh, uh, you know, party leaders or house leaders. Uh, on top of that, we had some interactions, some flashbacks with, which seems like flashbacks, with the Master of Masters and Lushu talking about defeating the darkness and how it takes several lifetimes, uh, which you know raises some interesting theories, which I kind of went into in the last, the end of last episode. Uh, also, kind of talks about how he, he himself, Master of Masters, has had conversations with darkness. Um, so I don't know if that was actually clear to me through the playthroughs of the other games that like darkness itself uh you could actually talk to <laughs> it was like an actual like almost like a like a, an entity in a way that you could you could speak with i know there's like the land you know the the you know the uh the realm of darkness and there's these dark beings and stuff like that but the fact that like there might be like i thought it was just kind of like chaos but there might, that there might be something like some sort of reasoning or or uh consciousness with this like you know with darkness itself uh seems interesting which also means that there could be something similar for the light uh but yeah that whole thing was interesting um and then kind of like brain uh going through the process of developing a, a virus for this glitch that seems to be happening in their world and then the question of whether or not that they were sent to a data world versus the real world um so yeah so the, the, the chapter we're going to start in on is an imposter. We'll go for about an hour. Uh, we actually have a pretty long chapter uh, coming up, and then we'll see kind of how that goes. But yeah, guys, if you haven't liked today's episode, hit that thumbs up button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video. Stop by our premiere Monday, Wednesday, or Friday at 2 p.m. EDT right here on my YouTube channel. Follow me over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash TV, where we stream Tuesdays and Thursday evenings at 7 p.m. EDT. Current games right now are Final Fantasy VII Original and Melody of Memory. And then a big shout out to our patrons, channel members, and Twitch subscribers. Uh, you guys make the channel go round, basically. So without further ado, guys, let's jump into it. Let's jump in. What, what do I need? This one? This one? We'll pick up where we left off with young Ephemer about to talk to somebody and an imposter. Let's do this. I'm surprised you asked me to come all the way out here. There's something I wanted to discuss with you privately. The surprises keep coming. This is where Master Ava told me I'd be chosen to become a union leader. Really? She brought me here too. Master Ava was an odd one. Oh, oh. Master Ava was an odd one out among the masters. She was so easy to talk to. Yeah, she was. Ephemer, there's something important I need to tell you. What is it? One of the new union leaders was chosen to receive a copy of the Book of Prophecies. The Book of Prophecies? Yeah, it was him, though. It was to make sure that even without the Master's guidance, we would be able to recreate the worlds and keep gathering light. But weren't the other worlds already recreated as data? Yeah, so this is kind of insurance. Think of it like a backup, in case there was a problem with the data. Although I have yet to actually use it. What, Brain, you have the Book of Prophecies? More importantly, look at this note. The names of the five chosen union leaders are here, with the recipient of the Book of Prophecies marked. This is... That's right. I'm not the one who was supposed to get the book. But that's not the only thing that's off. One of the other leaders has been replaced entirely. Laurium's sister, Trelitzia, was originally meant to become a union leader. That's... And the one who decided to give the Book of Prophecies to me was Master Ava. But why? 
By changing who gets the book, she was betting on the possibility that the future it contained could be rewritten. Mm, that makes sense. That makes sense. That clever, Ava. It was Master Ava's one act of resistance against fate. At least that's how I see it. But I don't think the replacement union leader was part of Master Ava's plan. Yeah? That's why I like to have a little chat with the replacement. Hmm. It sure has gotten chilly. Yeah, it looks like it might even snow. I'm not good with the cold. Really? I kind of like it. Oh! Wow. It even snows in the data world? Looks like it. Do you think it's snowing in the real Daybreak Town, too? Maybe. By the way, where are the others? I think Brain is looking for a way back to our world, probably with Ephemer. And I guess Lariam is off in search of clues about his sister. Right. So what should we do? Hmm. How about we make a snowman? There's no, literally no snow on the ground. Yeah. It's been, it's been a while since we let loose and had some fun. Now let's wait. Ten hours. <laughs> At the rate of that snowfall? Yeah. That's really pretty, though. I don't think we've ever seen snow fall in, like, in a non-snow world, to be honest. Like... Right? Think the others are enjoying the snow, too? Yeah. Aha! I finally found you. I searched the whole tower for you. Could you come with me for a bit? I'm back! It's funny, both Brain and his and his Charity look like uh like they'd be like red mages or something with those outfits. Great. Hey guys, what's up? You brought them both? I didn't have much of a choice, you know. Oh, who was he supposed to talk to originally? Hey, d did you see it? It was snowing. But you didn't call us out here to talk about the weather, did you? You're right, I didn't. There's something I want to ask you. Who told you that they were chosen to be union leader? Master Ava. Yeah, same here. Then you're lying. Rain, maybe we should talk to them separately. Huh? What? Where are you? Hold on. Where were you when she told you? We were right here. For me, it was near the clock tower. Ooh, so it might be Ben. Interesting. Ben's the imposter. What is this? Some kind of interrogation? It's not like that, Skald. Are we being suspected of something? Ventus Skald, let me explain. You see, Master Ava entrusted me with something. Is that the Book of Prophecies? That's right. And inside it, Master Ava tucked away a note listing the names of the five Union leaders. The name of the one originally meant to receive the book is circled. Originally? It wasn't you? Nope. I guess as much as when she gave me this, Master Ava wanted to defy fate and change the future, so she gave it to me instead. But something else is off. The list of union leaders itself. One of the names doesn't match up. Lariam's sister, Strelitzia, was supposed to be a union leader. What? So Master Ava swapped out one of the leaders too? I don't think so. If Master Ava had planned to switch out a union leader, 
she wouldn't have given me this note in the first place. As for Strelitzia, it might be easy to suspect Master Ava might be involved with her disappearance, but I don't believe she is. She's not that kind of person. Maybe a replacement was chosen after Strelitzia went missing. That doesn't add up either. Strelitzia was last seen just before the start of the Keyblade War, desperately trying to get Damien to join the Dandelions. We can assume that this is because she heard from Master Ava that she was chosen to be a union leader and that the war was coming. If Master Ava wanted to switch her out for someone else, even with such short notice, she would have told someone. It would make sense to tell me, at least, seeing as she trusted me with both the book and the list of names that was about to change. That makes sense. Is Lorium's name on there? Yeah, it is. We'll discuss this with him later, after we know more. He has a lot on his plate right now, looking into Strelitzia's disappearance. We have to ask those questions to determine whether or not the replacement knew about any of this. Ephemer and I agreed that even though we know the truth, we don't want anything to change between us. That's right, and I think we got the answer we were looking for. Like Brain said, nothing changes, we're still a team. We'll keep working together to try to figure this whole thing out. Ventus. Your name isn't on the list. I knew it. You got a verbal confirmation, but he wasn't actually added to the list. The defenses here are rather lacking. This place is off limits, so no one comes in here. You're certainly knowledgeable about all this. This world, the lifeboat, the lack of defenses. Just who are you? Think of me as an old friend. And why would this old friend want so badly to see me back in my own time? I need you to act as a waypoint. A waypoint? Didn't I tell you earlier? In order to travel through time, you need a medium to form a body with someone with memories of you. No one from this world has those in the future. But if we send you back, that all changes. Someone from this time could find their way to you. And into the future? That's not important. Huh. Getting back to your own time is all that matters, right? Hmm, I suppose. Is it her? This is the place. How do we get in? I see. Are we talking? Is she talking to herself? Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, you guys. Is this it? Yes. If you want to go now, this is your chance. I'm so confused. There's seven pods for the seven princesses of light. No, just not yet. I wouldn't waste my time snooping around if I were you. It's also, you see, what are you doing here? What is going on here? Oh, okay, okay. You may want to think carefully before you answer. What is going on? So we've seen that chamber before. Master Ava really didn't, did tell me, oh shoot, come on. Master Ava really did tell me I was a union leader. It's true. We believe you then. So was he part of Master Ava's plan then? No, unfortunately, Strelitzia is gone. And that's proof enough that it wasn't Master Ava's idea. 
if it was, she would have taken great care to make sure Strelitzia was safe, not sent her off to a war without telling her what was happening. And Master Ava is def definitely not the type of person to make someone disappear. Then who did Ven talk to? Let's think it through. Why were we chosen to keep light alive? And what else might want to come along for the ride? Darkness? Darkness can hide anywhere, even inside someone. What a surprise, so you're all trapped here as well. I don't recall you being invited. And it best be on my way. This isn't the way out. You have no idea what this room is, do you? Nope, I can't say I'm interested. All right, I'm gonna turn it down just a, just, a, just a touch. Every cage has a door, even this cage of data. This is that door and I'll be taking my leave through it, seeing as I'm not welcome here. Huh? I didn't know this place was so important. I figured it was just a lab or a storeroom. You are correct. It seems a great deal of research was once conducted here, and what remains of it was left to gather dust. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be on my way. Ooh, that lunge, man. I like this, like, back and forth. And darkness disguise itself as a Master Ava. Ventus. Poor Ven. Did you not notice anything strange when you met with Master Ava? Um... I don't know. What did she say to you? She said that she wanted me to become one of the new union leaders. Then she gave me a rule book and told me I should go to the battleground when everything was over and the others would be waiting there. I recall you saying that when we first met. Anything else? I remember she told me to come to this old abandoned house. Wait. Didn't you say you met her at the tower? We met at the house first. Then we walked to the tower while we while we talked. Oh my god. Can you tell us more about what happened? Okay. Yes. Yes. That day I went to the abandoned house like Master Ava said. Not the house I was thinking of. I was thinking of the mansion. Master Ava, it's me, Ventus. Master Ava! Maybe this is the wrong place? Who's there? I think... Did Ven kill? That's when Master Ava showed up and we left the house together. What? But that was straight Litzia. On the way to the tower, she told me I was one of the new union leaders. You think that's when she came? You're not sure? I can't remember what happened before we left the house, but I think we left as soon as she got there. Oh my god. Hold on. Hold on. This Ve So we know Ven has darkness in his heart, which is Venetus. Are we having, like, some sort of, like, split personality situation going on right here? It can't be, like, because it made it look like, they made it look like they, like, it was Stray Litzia that walked in and Ven so when it took her out. Which would be just awful. Just awful. It's a little, it's a little dim in here, so let's turn that up there. All right. The person who came to the house was, was it really Master Ava? Huh? 
Yeah, they they made it look like why? What does this mean? Let's head back to the tower. Now, this is a long chapter. <laughs> I forgot about this. Well, not really forgot about it, but I, I thought we were done with this world, so it's, it's nice that we're kind of going back and finishing this. Hi, mister? Oh. <laughs> so I asked around. And it sounds like Ralph flew that pod thing into another game. Sugar Rush. Cybugs will chew up that game faster than a chicken hawk in a coop of crippled roosters. <laughs> what? Uh, what was that now? What are you, thick? There's a cybug on that battle something. Do you even know what a cybug is? I can't say that I do, ma'am. Cybugs are like a virus. They don't know they're in a game. All they know is to eat, kill, and multiply. Without a beacon to stop them, they'll consume Sugar Rush and evade every other game. Until this arcade is nothing but a smoking husk of forgotten dreams. Wait, ma'am? I'm going with you. Can they all three fit on that? Like fun you are, short stack. You die outside your game, you don't regenerate. Well, neither do you, ma'am. And it is my job to fix what Ralph wrecks. And I cannot ask you to risk your life cleaning up his mess. No flex on this one, ma'am. I'm coming with you. I'm not sure why I'm going southern with him now. Mostly because it's the actor who played Kenneth. Not you, civilian. This mission is strictly key personnel only. And there they go. Those cybugs pose a threat to the world, just like the Heartless. Maybe they're a kind of darkness, too. But let's worry about that later. For now, we need to find Ralph since he might be causing our world's glitches. To the candy cane forest. <laughs> this looks familiar. Sugar Rush. Candy Kingdom. Oh, if you could race in this one. Oh my god. Kingdom Hearts. Uh, this, uh, oh, sorry. Kingdom Hearts needs a uh, uh, just a, it's its own racing game. That's all I just got to say. It just needs its own racing game. And I'd be happy. I'd be happy with it. This is what Ralph flew off in, isn't it? Well, can't have, he couldn't have gone far. Let's find him. That's my medal. It's precious to me. That thing is my ticket to a better life. Yeah, well, now it's mine. What's happened? See ya, chump. Come back. I'll find you. I will. I'll find you. I need to work on my voices, man. <laughs> I finally got the gold coin I need, and now this is happening. What's going on? Somebody help! She's the glitch. 
That's better. <laughs> I will say this part's going on a little bit long. <laughs> Whoa, who are you and how are you doing this? Oh, I'm Vanellope. Nice to meet you. If you can't tell, I'm a natural-born racer, and today's race is going to start my second. Any second. Come on, it's this way, straight through the forest. to the race my kingdom are they gone it appears so oh thank goodness I think that's his voice what were they anyway dark creatures barging into my kingdom uninvited um the trouble's not over Vanellope I knew it! This is all your fault! What are you talking about? I didn't do anything! Wait! What happened to the race? Even more trouble! Oh jeez! Oh jeez! The race can wait! Hey! You, you ruined my chance of finally winning a race! Actually, maybe he was right. The race can wait. Out of here. No oh, Vanellope. Now's my chance. Vanellope, Von, Von Schweetz. Von Schweetz. Yippee, I'm in the race. Vanellope. Get him, Damien. Get him. You give me back my medal right now. <laughs> oh, boy. What is that? This is chaotic. Good, you're here. Gotta go. Yes, I'm finally in the race. Out of the way. You dropped the cupcake on him. You have my gratitude. What were those monsters anyway? Heartless, I see. The evil son of a bitch. And I can't forget about this thing. For a moment, I thought it would, would destroy everything, but thanks to you, the damage can easily be repaired. You will have our races planned. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an interrogation to get. Sour Bill, that glitch cannot be allowed to fin finish. Find her. Okay, but where? Um, they appear together. We, you might know something. Oh. Oh, why didn't you say so? You there. Are you friends with the glitch, Vanellope? You just met? Well, as you can see, she's quite the little troublemaker. We were looking for her just to make sure she's safe. But alas, it's almost time for the race. Would you be so kind as to retrieve her from me? 
Good. I knew I could count on you. Are you sure about this? A character from a different game? Who cares? I'll use anything or anyone to keep her from racing. What a D-bag. Always helping out someone in need. Just remember, your goal is to find Ralph and uncover him. He's the one causing glitches in our world. It's such a saw Ralph. Now that I think about it, did that monster remind you of him? That's right, diving into the code. LP Von Schweetz. Hey, it's you. Thanks for helping me out back there. I gotta give my medal back. It's that little crumb snatcher. And her friend who keeps getting in the way. How'd he get out? Well, how does it look? Built in myself. Fastest pedal power west of the pinball machine. Check her out. No way. I'm not going with you. I'm in the race. I paid the entry fee and I'm on the roster. I'm going to be in that race. Uh -oh. Stop! No! Hey! Leave her alone! Uh-oh. Poor car. What are you looking at? Uh, you're welcome, by the way. You're welcome, you rotten little... Rotten little what? You rotten little thief. I'm not a thief. I just borrowed your stupid coin. I was gonna give it back to you as soon as I won the race. It's not a coin. It's a medal. Coin, metal, whatever. Just go back to your own dumb game and win another one. I can't. I didn't win it in my game. I won it in Hero's Duty. I earned that medal, and you better get back for me, toot sweet sister. Well, unless you've got a go-kart hidden in that flat fat fold of your neck, I can't help you. Penelope, fat shaman, come on. Look, you want that medal, right? And I want to race, so here's what I'm thinking. You help me get a new cart, a real cart, and I'll win the race and get you your medal. You want me to help you? Yeah, I already have one volunteer, but I could really use another one. Come on, what do you say, friend? We are not friends. Aw, oh, come on, pal. Come on, buddy. Let's shake on it. Come on, Jumbo Ralph, my man, my main man. I'm so glad you put that in there. Hey, my arm's getting tired. Do you have a deal or not? You better win. My man, my main man. Yes. Next stop, Cart Bakery. I think that's what she said. Welcome to the bakery. Let's bake a cart. What is this, another game? Yeah, well, it's a mini game. You have one minute to win it. Go. 
mix. You can put the ingredients in the bowl and throw away the trash. You're getting all the wrong stuff, kid. I'm trying. Ugh, I'll do it. Uh-oh. No, not now. Leave it to me. Wait, I need your help with this. Hey, take care of him, will ya? Yeah, Damien, stop just staying around. Get to work. Congratulations, you did it, and here's your cart. It's adorable. I actually saw a cosplayer recreate this cart on TikTok. It's insane. Ay -ay -ay -ay. I love it. You do? I love it. I love it. I love it. Look, it's got a real engine. And look at these wheels. Oh, I love it. I finally have a real cart. Hold it right there, Glitch. Start the cart, start the cart, start the cart. I, uh... What are you waiting for? Come on, let's go. I, uh, I don't know how to drive a real cart. You don't what? Get him! We'll deal with it later. Drive to the wall right there, between the two sugar-free lollipops. Are you crazy? Just do it. They're right behind us. Hurry. All right. All right. Where'd they go? Find that glitch. Destroy the cart. She can't be allowed to race. Voice continuity, Miles. You're, you're, you're dropping the ball here. Why doesn't he want Vanellope to win the race? Whoops. Vanellope in the race. How was he able to command those heartless? It looks like Ralph isn't the only one we'll need to, f to investigate. Let's stick with Ralph for now, see if we can get any answers. What are these? Diet Cola Hot Springs, watch out for fallen candy. Yeah, check it out, look! <laughs> oh, you gotta watch out for the splash. That stuff is boiling hot. Yeah, I, I got that, thank you. What is this dump? It's your little racetrack. I think it's some sort of unfinished bonus level. Yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? I 
I found that secret opening, and now I live here. By yourself? Well, yeah. I mean, everyone here says I'm just a mistake, and that wasn't even supposed to exist. What do you expect? Listen, kid, I know it's none of my business, but why do you even just stick around this game? You really don't know anything, do you? They just can't leave their games. It's one of the joys of being me. Sad. Hey, what are you doing? No way! Get out of here! This is my home! Stay back. I got this. You ready? If you're going to be a racer, you're going to have to learn how to drive. And you can't do that without a track. Wow. All right. Now let's hustle up. We've got some driving to do. It looks like he's got some things under control now. Let's come back later to see how they're doing. Sounds like they're still at it. Let's hang back here and take a look around. We don't want to get in their way. What's up? Yeah. I'm starting to think Ralph is just plays the part of bad guy, too. He's not a bad guy. That much is obvious from his actions. Which means... We still have no idea where the glitches are coming from. But I'm certain that the Heartless has something to do with it. What is it? You're just now telling Charity this? That's it! You're right! We shouldn't jump to conclusions, or we might miss something important. Again. Let's go talk to Vanellope. Boom. It's all the matter with the bug out there, huh? Jiminy Jiminy. What did I do wrong? Mm, yes. Oh. I'm Fix a Felix Jr., sir. In the game Fix a Felix Jr., have you seen my friend Ralph? Wreck it, Ralph? Yes, yes, that's him. Should have locked him up when we had the chance. Locked him up? Not making the same mistake with you. Uh oh. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I'm counting on you to talk. I'm counting on you to talk a little sense into her. Mm -hmm. 
can you believe this? Ruff's trying to get me to drop out of the race. Wait a minute. Where did you get this? Look, I'm gonna be straight with you, kid. I've been talking to King Candy. King Candy? You sold me out? No, listen. You don't understand. No, I understand plenty. Traitor. No, I'm not a traitor. Listen. You're a rat. And I don't need you. I can win the race on my own. But I'm trying to save your skin, kid. Hey, put me down. Let me go. No, you listen to me. King Kenny explained to me something, something to me. When the players see you glitching, they're going to think the game's broken. I don't care. You're a liar. Well, you better care, because if your game goes out of order, you go down with the ship, little sister. I'm not listening to you. Get out of my way. I'm going to, I'm going to that race. No, you're not. Take me down from here, Ralph. Right now. No. I'm doing this for your own good. He, doesn't he break her sh her thing? Wait, 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 no, wait. No, 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 please, Ralph, no. Stop it. <laughs> it's so sad. I'm just like remembering that from the movie. The movie? The movie. <laughs> you really are a bad guy. Oh, Ralph. What are we doing, dude? I can hardly believe it. Ralph said something back there about Vanellope glitching. Maybe he knows what's causing it. Yeah, I know. I'm worried about Vanellope too. But if we find out what's causing these glitches, we can help her out at the same time. Trust me on this. Thanks. All right, let's follow Ralph. Everybody's gone. They all left. I didn't mean to cause a problem. I was just tired of living alone in the garbage. I, I thought winning a medal would change everything. Hero. I can go for sugar cookie right now, actually. What's the Sugar Rush theme song? I'm gonna have to look, look it up after this. Hey, help me out, will you? Hey, cough drop, explain something to me. If an LP was never meant to exist, then why is her picture on the side of the game console? Wait, let's get him. Gotcha. What's going on in this candy coated nightmare? Nothing. Doc, no. Okay, I'll talk. I'll talk.
Penelope was a racer until King Candy tried to delete her code. That's why she's a glitch. Why is he doing this to her? I don't know. I swear I don't know. He literally locked up our memories, and I can't remember. Nobody can. But I do know this, he'll do anything to keep her from racing. Because if she crosses the finish line, the game will reset and she won't be a glitch anymore. Where is she now? In the Fungin with Fix-It Felix. Felix? How do we get to the Fungin? There's a trap door at the castle entrance. Please, that's all I know, I swear, that's all I know. The Fungin. Stick around. Yes, okay, I will. I will, thank you. Stick around. <laughs> okay, because Candy is sticky, guys. Candy is sticky. Looks like there's a bad guy bringing darkness to this world after all. And that's King Candy. It took us a while to figure it out. But you know what we need to do now, right? Bust some chops, guys. This must be the trap door. Yikes. We made it. But I can't face Vanellope till I get her cart fixed. Let's find Felix first. Felix! Ralph! I'm so glad to see you! Wait. No, I'm not. What did you have to say for yourself? I... Wait. I don't want to hear it. I'm not talking to you. Okay, don't talk. That's fine. But you have to fix this go-kart for me, pronto. I don't have to do boo. Forgive my potty mouth. I'm just so cross with you. Do you have any idea what you put me through? I ran higgly piggly all over creation looking for you. Higgly piggly. I almost drowned in chocolate milk mix. mix. And then I met the most dy dynamite gal. Oh, she gives me the honey glow something awful. But she rebuffed my affections. And then I got thrown in jail. Felix, pull yourself together. No. Ralph, you don't know what it's like to be rejected and treated like a criminal. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, I do. That's every day of my life. It is? Which is why I ran off and I tried to be a good guy. But I'm not. I'm just a bad guy and I need your help. There's a little girl whose only hope is the cart. Please fix it. Fix it, and I promise I will never try to be good again. My god, this is a super excessive with those chains. Super excessive. I know, I know. I'm an idiot. And? And a real numbskull. And? Selfish diaper baby. And? And? A stink brain? The stinkiest brain ever. <laughs> Yeah, it's race time. You ready? Am I ever? All right, guys, I think we're actually going to end it there. Just before the race, just before the race seems like a good spot, right? Seems like a good spot. We went a little over an hour last time, so I'm kind of sure. But we're going to we're going to have another longer episode. Uh, yeah, longish episode. 
next time. Just because I like, yeah. I think that I think that'll be good. We'll we'll do the race and then the last episode will be a little bit longer, a little bit longer. But guys, thank you so much for joining me in this one. Uh, so some fun stuff happened. Uh, still more Stray Letia, uh stuff going on. Oh, what button do I want? This one? There we go. Some more Stray Litzia stuff going on. Um, and then on top of that, uh, we still have uh, Maleficent uh, pretending she's, you know, the main the main character in the story. Uh, talking with somebody who's dark, full of darkness. Uh, possibly herself. I'm not really sure. Just, just based off of, like, what the rules are and, like, what we keep, like, you know, the fact that the darkness person was just, like, we talked about this. <laughs> we talked about this. So it's either uh, it's either some. It could be Pete, which would be funny. Uh, it could be Pete. It could be uh, Xehanort, possibly like from the future. Um, yeah, it could be. A, it could be her. I just I don't know. It could be anybody really. Oh, it could be. It could be Repliku. No, it could be Repliku. It could be Riku. Maybe I don't know. It could be Ansem. It, so many people. Some people, I'm more inclined to think it's like it's her, uh, or it's or it's Pete. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure exactly. Uh, so that was that, that's interesting. The whole imposter thing was like is really cool too. The fact that Ven is potentially responsible for killing Strelitzia, uh, seems like he blacked out and something bad happened. So that's, I don't know, man. That could be, and also it could be this darkness that's talking about Maleficent could also be the darkness that that ends up like infiltrating Ven, and then that's how Benitas is born. I'm like super reaching on that one. I understand that, but the whole thing is really interesting. But yeah, that that somebody like infiltrated or was the imposter of uh, you know, infiltrated Ava or took on her likeness. Um, that yeah, interesting to see like. What's going on with that? And like, who did the course correcting? Right? Because like, so like the, the original list of five was what the original list of five was. And the fact that they think that like, so somebody is trying to change the course of history in a way. So very, very intriguing stuff. Um, but yeah, so next episode will be a slightly longer one. Uh, hope you guys are okay with that. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this one. Hit that thumbs up button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon. Uh, stop by our premiere Monday, Wednesday, or Friday at 2 p.m. EDT right here on my YouTube channel. Uh, follow me over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash MrMilesTV. Uh, big shout out to our patrons, uh, our channel members, our Twitch subscribers, all you followers, everybody who likes and comments on the videos, like all the support. Super, super appreciate it. Links down below to all my socials. We are on TikTok now which is cool. I've been taking all my little snippets of reactions in here and throwing them up on TikTok. So uh, if you guys have TikTok, want to follow me over on there, it should have the link down below. Uh, we have a Discord as well. So much, so much, guys. Um, but that's it for this episode. Go forth the rest of your day. Make it a good one. And I will see you in the next one. Take care. Oh, bye-bye. Oh, bye-bye.